Hello there, precious Divine Beloveds, and welcome to my video introduction for my beloved readings. So, I have recently shared an update with all of you that I was guided by spirit and my own human self at the same time, because you know what we're living now is a merge of our guidance and our human counterpart that is ready to convey and embody <laughs> what our higher selves are having in plan for us. So um, I have been in preparation for quite a while for these readings and I want to give you a little bit of introduction. What's my purpose behind these readings? Because every single thing I do has a deeper sense and meaning to it. Nothing is random, nothing is just there as, you know, <laughs> just one of my more <laughs> service updates. The thing is that, you know, the masculine and feminine energies have been an interplay play and their dance of polarity since the beginning of ages and <laughs> since the dawn of ages of the humankind and there was an initiative um, from our master self which is the master living within each and every one of us to begin processing at this very crucial time in our personal and physical ascension journey our inner masculine and feminine essences so that eventually we as beings could become more and more integrated which kind of for a lot of beings still brings up a lot of fear because we feel that as we are really integrated from the level of our human nature in the sense of feminine masculine essences that we all carry them within is going to get us into a state of androgyny and if you have been reading some of the books or references about androgyny You've probably read that you know it's a sexless genderless uh, kind of energy form where you exist where you still have attributes of maybe feeling more feminine or more masculine but there is no such thing as gender as we know it as humans so because we're evolving as a species as a humankind uh, the game of life is kind of pulling us more towards the integration of our androgyny but still having gender. So for the human specific at this time, for those humans who are ascending into this higher dimension, there's still going to be such a thing as gender. <laughs> We're still going to have gender polarities playing out. But the gender polarities will be more like a choosing of the form in which we come and the form which we incorporate, you know, in this current um, embodiment which means that we still have to have an integrated and equally balanced masculine and feminine essences of our also physicality and how they permeate through our physicality. So those of us who have been on this path, and I call it the cosmic beloved path because we're bringing all of our multidimensional selves and all the aspects to express and embody them into one unified human embodiment so that we can have the joy of becoming all of these essences and living them out rather than hoping and waiting for an external fulfillment to come to us from the outside. So on this journey, I've been developing a lot of tools and courses and the course that I developed for this specifically is called the Cosmic Beloved Course. And I thought, well, this is where this journey ends. And I have been in an ongoing study of the tarot and the wisdom of the sacred readings. And as I started this journey, I was doing um, what I called back then ascension guidance, ascension readings, which were more about the, you know, the awakening, ascending um, aspect of our being, which is rising up to have that higher self connection and who we truly are and what's our purpose at this time. But a lot of us now, because we're descending so much in our human form, we're already at that stage of our journey and we wish to know how do we merge the voice of our inner child, which is, let's face it, it's our human persona. It's our human counterpart. It has desires, it has needs, it has goals, it has things it wants to experience and become self-realized and self-fulfilled. If that aspect of us would not exist, then there would be no such words like self-fulfillment or self-realization because consciousness already is realized. It already is and it's infinite and eternal at the same time. 
So as we brought forth our aspects into this uniqueness of all life in creation and our own variation of this special uniqueness that we are specifically, we were learning, you know, and souls were learning many lessons, sometimes more masculine, sometimes more feminine. But when one is ready to master themselves and integrate both of these polarities in unity consciousness, one will start to be more, um, more awake, more alert of how these tendencies of the polarity are being played out within them. So this brings me to what is the purpose of my readings because, you know, as we've been moving through these incarnations, let's call them, not just as humans, but also other life forms and in other realities, we've been gathering data, we've been gathering knowledge, and it was all about how eventually one day we would return to that which existed as the seed of our consciousness expression, but then we wanted to have a birth of it in form. So we wanted to keep our form and yet have the highest level of our consciousness attained, which we can call self-mastery. So the thing is that for us to do that, we, we, we wanted to and we were acquired to move through many different gender-specific roles so that we could have different angle viewpoints of our experiences and therefore our male and female counterparts were always existing in this communion and you know <laughs> sometimes we call it codependency and it might sound as negative but the higher aspect of codependency is actually the interrelatedness of everything the the innate um, kind of like that um, which we can call the twinning consciousness which is you're always in, in your twin nature of your yin and yang nature um, as we exist as beings of consciousness so a lot of us are now feeling this step as stepping up into who we truly are and bringing those masculine feminine not just lessons because we might call them human lessons other lifetime parallel lifetime lessons but it's more about the expressions of those of those essences now we can bring them into stabilization through the synthesis of the understanding which became wisdom that crystallized through all of that so as I was guided to begin with those readings is not just you know as many people who do tarot and all these different guidance systems and oracle of divination um, we many times we can, you know we can use divination in different levels of awareness it's just how we are and what level we wish to connect to and you know sometimes we can predict it as events um, or you know what kind of relationship you will attract rather than what you're creating from where you are now in your inner polarities and how they're being played out what you're choosing for yourself so to get on the point right um, the desire with these readings is I do use some of the tarot too, <laughs> is to kind of see where you, where we, you know, as a collective are now and you specifically as an individual, how does this relate to you? You know, what kind of archetypes you're still playing out and how this for you personally is developing so that you can step up in the mastery of joined and merged feminine and masculine essences, which of course can play out in your current physical lifetime frame, your own divine child, which is a birth of these essences working together. And then how may you apply these as a tool to mirror back that to yourself. So the same things and highest method teachings I share in the Cosmic Beloved course. So if you really want to go deeper into that, mastering your polarity, mastering the polarity of your consciousness and how we are experiencing it in form, you can go and prepare with the Cosmic Beloved course or you can just do the readings however you pr prefer. If you're kind of called to this, to this path, because a lot of us, you know, we felt, okay, we're, we're divine lovers, you know, but what is this really? Or people say, wow, twin flames exist but what is this really? This really speaks about the twinning nature within us, which is the nature of a rising serpent, which, you know, it goes in the coiling nature of both streams. And I'm always shown this as the golden white light, divine feminine, divine masculine, which are birthing forth all life in creation. And the aspect of us, where we are now and our consciousness will be able to create. So where we are at our current understanding of ourselves on that level, we'll be ready to create. So as deeper that we want to merge with these aspects of us. So how much of our masculine and feminine polarity we wish to meet and meet on all levels will kind of determine where we are in our human life manifestations, of course, creations, what we're choosing. So it all comes down to choice. It really is all about choice. So when I do readings, I cannot tell people what will happen or I cannot give advice because you know, the moment you give someone advice 
um, you're already planting and incepting an idea in their head. And when the psychic predictions from people, you know, even I, for example, and I've been going through my awakening, have been incepted a few times, only later to my own disappointment, realizing that, hey, no one can know as much as I do for myself, but these were my stepping stones. Um, to see how much we can really just know for ourselves. So the level of awareness where I work at is about presenting um, where in your current physical human embodiment, how you embody this, how you're actually being presented with this interplay, you know, what within you is still seeking that result, what wants to be, um, what wants to break free and wants to rise higher up and how much more mastery can you gain from that perspective. So any single thing we do is it's not a prediction. It can only be a decree of the now. It can actually show up in the now. So as you know, for ages and ages, there was a lot of different manifestations that occurred on a grander micro, macro level of the cosmic unfolding of the feminine and masculine forces in creation. And if we zoom it in into our planet Earth and a tiny you know, <laughs> micro level, we're going to see that it's playing out just as well. But who's participating with our thoughts is we as human beings. We're the ones that are determining this from our own beloved consciousness, from how much of that divine love we have attained. And the more that I get deeper into that essence of who we are and why we're here is that we're here to find balance between the nature of our creation self and our eternal self. So the human self is merging with our spirit self when we want that balance. And this wasn't done yet before because this was a game of seeking, of exploring, of venturing out. So when we develop these tools, like when we assist each other, we're deepening this work. And when we're deciding and choosing for it, we're actually deciding for ourselves to be more masterful, to be more wise about the choices we're making because a lot of people are now transitioning. They no longer want the karmic and patterns between the roles even that the feminine has been playing and the masculine has been playing and calling it matriarchy, patriarchy. But we want to come to the union, to the unison. But we're each responsible for that. So we really need to be honest and in deepest integrity to work on these levels, to work on our own beloved partnership within so that we can accept and create these new divine partnerships that are going to be spirit partnerships, that are going to be um, what I was recently channeling through spirit, the eagle partnerships, because these will be born from spirit. And the yellow butterfly just came right now. So to be born of spirit is that the, the reunion, the relationship we're creating comes from the full understanding and the wholeness of ourselves. But we cannot do that until aspects of ourselves feel torn in the division and even in contrast and opposition to each other. So sometimes we have conflicting forces and voices telling us, you know, the voice of the mind would want to go one, one way, the voice of the heart wants to go the other way, and we're confused. But this confusion is only an invitation to invite both of these aspects of us to meet, um, to kind of share this Garden of Eden of opportunity to see, but is there a third way? <laughs> because in the past, we were used to choosing either this or that. You know, duality consciousness is fight or flight, this or that. Well, unity consciousness is all of it, but choose. <laughs> Still filter and zoom in, but choose. There's a variety, an infinite amount of choices, and we're free to, to kind of co-create with that. So instead of being very much attached to the kind of partnership we think is meant for us to be or just passively waiting for it to be or a partnership we're in currently and we want it to become that, we focus on ourselves to create that. So we partner up with spirit and our human ally, our human body, because it's already so advanced and intelligent, because it has wisdom for us, and then creating the conjoint effort and really stepping up in who we truly are. So that the bigger, the more macro picture of the feminine masculine wouldn't be so wounded anymore, wouldn't be so distorted and coming through these faulty communications and perceptions that our core values would rise up to a new divine human being. So this is basically what, um, what my desire is behind these readings and how this will personally align with each and everyone who will be guided maybe to have this guidance. I wanted to explain a bit because it's hard to put all that and you know we have a web page that you can't explain you know people want to know and I can't answer to everyone specifically you know repeat myself all the time I hate doing that so I just was guided and called to do this video to kind of um, present to those of you who might feel kind of inclined but want to have more information about that 
So check out my page, Serapina Light. I have all the information there about other services as well. And I'll see you in my next video update. And remember, the beloved is all of us and all life in creation. So I'll talk to you very soon. Love, wisdom, and power as always.